Hello and welcome to lesson one of Green Filing's video training series for e-filing in the California courts. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a new e-filing account with Green Filing, provide an overview of the Green Filing site layout and navigation, and demonstrate how to configure your account with payment accounts and attorney users, both of which may be required in order to start e-filing. Okay, so the first step to begin participating in electronic filing with the California courts is to create your e-filing account. Uh, so we're at greenfiling.com slash California, and all we gotta do to start uh, to create our account is click the sign up free button here. This will take us to our sign up screen. It's a very uh, simple process, pretty self-explanatory. First step is to select an account type. Next step, to enter your email address. And we're going to make a password for ourselves. A security question answer. You have a number of security questions you can select from. Then we're going to put our firm information. phone number, address, city, state, zip. The next step here, account setup is an important piece. You have three options. The first is to select a law firm admin non-attorney. So if you are a non-attorney creating an account for a firm, and then you're gonna add multiple users after you create the account, you wanna select this option. The next option is attorney. So if you're an attorney and you're creating an account either for yourself or for, the, for a firm, you want to select the attorney option. Once you're logged in as an attorney, you'll also be able to add multiple users, multiple attorneys, multiple support staff. And then you have an individual or a pro se option intended for self-represented litigants. The major difference with this account type is that you're only able to uh, create a single user. You can't add multiple users to the account. So for this training series, we're going to go ahead and select the law firm admin option. And then we're going to check off on our user agreements and click save and finish. Once you've finished the sign up process, you're going to receive two emails. One email will come from green filing. It's just welcoming you to the system. The other email is an account activation email that looks like this one here. And you'll notice there's an activate account link here. You're just going to click that link to activate the account and then you'll be able to log in. Once you've activated the account, you'll land on our login screen and then you can just enter your username and password to log in for the first time. Okay, so now that we've logged into our green filing account, uh, first thing I'd like to do is just give you an overview of how green filing site is laid out. Across the top left, you're going to find our main navigation tabs. So you have e-filing, settings, reports, account, and support. Uh, down the left-hand side, you have your sub-navigation. So depending on the tab you've selected at the top, the sub-navigation will change. Um, right now I'm under e-filing, so I have things related to e-filing. If I go to settings, then these will change to tabs related to settings, reports, account, so on and so forth. So you can see how the sub-navigation changes depending on the uh, main navigation tab selected. Uh, what you'll see as you navigate around the side is that this section I'm kind of highlighting here is the main content area. So this is where you'll see the content of the screen change and where you're going to be doing most of your work within the green filing system. I also want to point out uh, that we have multiple support options available to you. If I click on the support tab at the top here, that's actually gonna launch our support website. Uh, all kinds of help articles uh, here on how to do things within the system. You also have a support phone number, a uh, support email address, support at greenfiling.com, and a link here to submit a support ticket if you wish. On any page throughout iSite, you also have the live chat support. So you can click that tab on the bottom right-hand side and click let's chat. If I 
close the support page, you'll notice that live chat support is also always available in the application as well. So that's the layout of the system in terms of navigation where we've landed as our default page is the dashboard screen. On the dashboard, we have a section here to help you get started with electronic filing and some quick links into filing a new case or filing on an existing case. Uh, some quick links to help articles related to the things you need to know to get started. We always post our system status on the dashboard. So if there's any problems ever with green filing or any problems with the court system, we will report that information here on the dashboard. And then on the right hand side, we um, have some counts of different things you may uh, be uh, doing in the system. Kind of gives you a picture of what's going on with your account. As you begin to utilize the system, you'll see these counts on your pending filings, draft filings, rejected filings. Um, increase and decrease depending on your activity. So that's the overall layout. Now there are two things that you need to do in order to configure your account to start e-filing. The first thing you need to do is to set up a payment account. You'll notice here that's the first task under the start a new filing. Payment accounts are used to uh, pay court filing fees as you submit your filing. Uh, if I were to click on set up a payment account, that's going to direct us to our settings and payment settings screen and prompt us uh, to add a new payment account. So the first step in adding a payment account is to give it a nickname. Uh, for this example, I'm going to give my uh, account a nickname of waiver. And then under account type, you have the option of selecting two types of payment accounts. First type is a credit card account and the second type is a waiver account. I'd like to start with the waiver account. Waiver accounts are payment accounts that you would use to submit your filing when you are requesting a waiver of court filing fees. Uh, perhaps an example of that is that you are an attorney who's representing a government entity who doesn't have to pay filing fees. So when you submit filings for that party, you could use your waiver account to make sure um, that you don't pay any filing fees. So if I was gonna add a waiver account, I would just select waiver and then click continue. And then you'll notice on my payment settings screen here, we have a row here for that waiver account having just been added. The other option is to add a credit card payment account. So if we're on the payment settings screen like we are now to add another account, I just click the add a payment account link on the right hand side. And then I can add my credit card. So let's say I'm gonna add a MasterCard. I'll just give it a nickname of MasterCard, select a credit card as my payment account type, click continue. On the next screen, you're going to get an explanation as to where you're adding this payment account. You're actually not saving this payment account or credit card information on Green Filing site. You're saving it on the California Courts online payment gateway system. Uh, and um, so this is kind of providing information uh, related to that. If you click continue here, the next screen is going to display a standard credit card form. So we'll just fill this out. I'll just make up dummy information for this demonstration. Get through these address fields. Oops. Zip code finally, and we'll click continue and save. And once this screen completes, you'll just click a final continue. And you'll notice now on our payment settings screen, we have two, waiver, uh, two payment accounts, a MasterCard account, and a waiver. So if I'm submitting a filing and I need to pay court filing fees, I'll select the MasterCard as the card I want to use to pay my filing fees. Um, if I'm requesting a waiver, then I could use the waiver account to submit my filing. So with that, let's navigate back to the dashboard. And the next thing I want to point out is the second step um, before you can start a new filing, which is to make sure that you have a filing attorney available on your account. Now, if you've signed up as an attorney, 
then you're obviously logged in as an attorney and you don't have to add an additional attorney or any attorney to start filing. However, if you're signed in as a support staff user, a law firm administrator um, who is a non-attorney, in order to begin filing, you'll have to have an attorney available to you to select as the attorney who's submitting the filing. So to add an attorney to the account, we will click on the add a filing attorney link here. And then we're just going to enter that attorney's information. So you'll type in their bar ID, their name. So first name, last name, uh, middle name and suffix if they have them. Uh, you can enter an email address. And then when you're adding an attorney, you have two options. One, you can add the attorney just as an attorney that you're going to use to e-file and not make a user out of them. Um, that's option A. To do that, you just do what we've done here and go ahead and click the Add Attorney button. If you also, though, wanted to make that attorney a user so that they could log in and utilize the system, e-file on their own, then when you add this attorney, you want to check this box to indicate that they're also a user. And then if you make them a user, you can also make them a firm administrator. Um, there's also an option here to make them a service contact. We'll talk more about service contacts in um, uh, future videos. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Attorney. And once I do, you'll see that now on my Manage Users screen, I show an attorney up here as listed available. And then um, I show myself here as just a support staff. So you can add as many attorneys or support staff as you'd like to the account. I've added one attorney here. Uh, if I need to add more, I can just click this Add Attorney button or link on the right-hand side. Uh, if I need to add additional support staff, I can use this Add Support Staff link. Uh, just quickly demonstrate that. It's a very similar process. Just enter the name and then the email address. And then again, you have the option to make them a firm administrator and or a service contact. Click Add Support. And now you have two support staff and one attorney. Now you can also control which support staff are allowed to file for which attorneys on this screen. So if I were to check this box up here for the first attorney, um, I can see that so far no users are uh, activated for them to file for, uh, to file with. If I check these two boxes, this means that these two support staff would be able to file for this attorney and just click update authorizations. So now these two users are allowed to file for this attorney. This is actually a feature of green filing that you won't find in the other systems where you can control uh, which support staff are allowed to file for which attorneys using this screen. So I'm gonna now get back to my e-filing tab and we'll see now that I have a payment account set up and a filing attorney set up. I have now everything in place that would allow me to file a new uh, case or to begin filing new documents on an existing case. So in future videos, we'll go over how to do those things. Um, but for now, this is the conclusion of lesson one on how to create your account and configure it to allow you to start e-filing.